Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking it up from the topic of functions. And we are continuing our series of questions on JWE Advanced. So today's question, we are taking it up from the year 2011. And in this question, if you see, it is given to us that let f of x is x squared and g of x is given to us as sine x. We have been told that these functions are there for all x belongs to R. And further, we have been told here that we need to find the set of all values of x which satisfy the expression that f of g of g of f x is equal to g of g of f x. Where it is told to us that g o f x is nothing but g of f of x. So we need to figure out the set of all values of x which satisfy this expression. And if you see the options that are given to us here, they tell us that the first option given to us is x will be plus minus root of n pi, where n belongs to the list of whole numbers. Further, second, we have been told x can be also plus or minus root of n pi, but here we have been told that x can be list of natural numbers. The third option given to us says pi by 2 plus 2 n pi, where n belongs to list of integers. So the entire list of integers minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2. And the last option tells us x will be 2 n pi, where n again belongs to this. So we need to figure out what is the correct answer for this set of all values of x, right? Let's do that. So if you see here, we have been told f of x is x squared. We have been told g of x is sine x. Now, if I try to find g of f of x first. So basically, if you understand, instead of g of x, you're putting g of f of x. So instead of x, you are writing f of x. So here also, instead of x, I will write sine of f of x. And we also know f of x is x square. So it becomes sine of x square. Now if I try to find g of g of f of x, so that becomes, so instead of g of f, g of x, you are writing g of g of f of x. So instead of x, you are writing g of f of x. So you get here sine x, you get sine of g of f of x. And we already have the value of g of f of x with us. So it becomes sine of g of f of x was x squared. You get that as sine of sine x squared. Further, if you have f of g of g of Now that becomes, so instead of f of x, you are putting x square. Instead of x, you are putting g of g of f of x. So instead of x square, you will write sine of sine of x square. So you have both of these ideas with you. Have f of g of g of f of x is equal to g of g of x. So this we figured out that is sine of sine x squared of x squared. That is equal to sine sine x squared. Okay. Now if I try to solve this, we know. Let's say sine of x square if I have substituted as y. So it becomes easier for us to solve the question. Sine of x square, you are substituting it as y. Sine of x square, you are again substituting it as y. You get here sine y the whole square is equal to sine. 
if you try to solve this expression, what do you get? Taking everything on one side, sine of y the whole square, minus sine y is equal to zero. If I take out sine y common, I'm left with sine y minus one is equal to zero. So from this you get sine y is equal to zero or sine y is equal to one. Now if you see here, when do you get sine of something as equal to zero? You get that when if I put sine zero, that is zero. You get it as zero when sine pi is there, sine two pi is there, sine three pi is there, sine minus pi will also become zero. So minus two pi will also become zero. So all the integral multiples of pi will give you the sine ratio as zero. So you get from here that y is nothing but n pi where n belongs to the list of integers so they can be minus 2 minus 1 right so all the values of n here that satisfy this expression now if i want to figure out when do you get sine y as 1 you get that as 1 when it is pi by 2 when it is 3 pi by 2 you get sine as minus 1. Again at 5 pi by 2 you get that as 1. Again at 7 pi by 2 you get that as minus 1. So when I need it 1, it becomes after every 4 places. So 5 pi by 2, 9 pi by 2 and so on. Even if you have negatives at minus 3 pi by 2, minus 7 pi by 2, you get that as 1. So here if I try to write it in terms of n, I can write that as y becomes 4n plus 1 pi by 2. Where again, n belongs to all the list of integers. So this is the complete idea we have here. Sign of all the positive multiples after a difference of five, 4 gives us 1 and in the negative starting from minus 3 after a difference of multiple of 4 you again get So that is the idea we have here. Y can be n pi or y can be 4 n plus 2. Again, if I resubstitute y as sine x what do you get here? Sine of x square is equal you have it as n pi, where we know n belongs to the list of integers, and, or I should say, or you get that as sine of x square is equal to 4n plus 1 pi by 2, again, for all n belongs to the list of integers. So we have this idea with us. Now, if you see, we know value of pi is nothing but 3.14, right? So if you put any value of integers for n here, sine of something should be n into 3.14. So if you see what values of n here will satisfy this, we know sine theta, the maximum value I can have here is 1, and the minimum value I can have here is sin theta as well as cos theta is always between minus 1 and 1. So since it is always between um, minus 1 and 1, if I put n as 0, that satisfies because it comes between minus 1 and 1. If I put any other value of n, plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, so if I put n as 1, you get pi, which is 3.14. If you put n as 2, you get 2 pi, which is 6.28. All of these values, even if you put negative, minus 3.14, all of these values won't come in the range of sine theta. So all of these values cannot be the values of n here. Only one value of n satisfies that says sine of x squared. We will solve this further. We have only got one value of n satisfying this expression. Now if I try to satisfy this expression, if I again put values of n, if I put 0 also, you get pi by 2. Pi by 2 is 3.14 by 2, something 1.57. If you put n as 1, you get 5 pi by 2. That is again 5 into 1.57. 
if you see all of these values does not even come in the range of sin theta so they are beyond sin theta values this all values would satisfy so if you put any value of n in this expression none of these values will satisfy this range of sin theta so here we are getting an inconsistent solution none of the values of n if i put here satisfy this expression so i don't get any solution from this expression no solution so that's why an inconsistent region only solution i have got from the first part is sin of x square equal to zero and if i see that sin of something becomes zero again well it is sin of n pi where n belongs to the n x square is equal to n pi and n can be minus 1 zero think we have all the values of integers now if i take the square root you get plus minus root of n pi and since we are already taking it as plus or minus the values of n you can have here as all the whole numbers here because you have already taken it as minus also so that satisfies this so you get the solution set for all the values of x satisfying the expression and that comes out plus or minus root of n pi where n belongs to the list of integers. and if you see the option that matches here with the question is option a so option a and b are same just option b has n belongs to list of natural numbers here it tells n belongs to list of whole numbers and option A satisfies this because n belongs to list of integers. I hope you have understood how to solve these types of questions on functions where f of x and g of x was given to us. We had been asked to find the values of x which satisfy this expression. So once we figured out that we found out g of f of x, g of g of f of x, and f of g of g of f of x. And we equated them, put y as sine of x square, got values of y here as n pi, and 4n plus 1, and pi by 2. And n belongs to the list of integers. We got two solutions. Again, once we substituted it, sine of x square, we got only one value of n that is equal to 0 satisfying this expression so only one solution from this and from this part we didn't get any solution so no solution from this region if i further solve this sign of x square becomes zero so it is sign of n pi and x from this becomes plus or minus n belongs to the list and after solving this we get the option a that is the correct so answer here in this question is I'll meet you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. Till then, you can like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also, share these videos with your friends who are also involved in the preparation of JWT. Thank you.